spleen is a left sided structure okay so you have to hold the spleen in such a way that these three fingers will represent the ribs so just now you read about pancreas okay so one thing is spleen will be on your left hand clear this is the part of the duodenum first part second part third part fourth part is very small so it cannot be demonstrated okay so this is the pyloric end pyloric end will be above and the fourth part will be below okay so this is the c shaped hollow inside which you have to put the head so head then this is the neck constricted part then the body and the tail so you can see the tail has been attached to the spleen by the ligaments okay hilum of the spleen is this part okay so you have to hold it like this first of all this one is the first part second part third part fourth part is very small about 2.5 cm only one inch okay so what are the dimensions of the three parts of the duodenum 5 8 to 10 10 and then 2.5 okay so first of all this is the first part horizontal then the superior duodenal flexor then a vertical part that is the second part then the third part that is again after the inferior duodenal flexor it goes to the left side and above about 2.5 cm left is the midline then second part is lodged in the gutter behind so it is the most protected area that is probably the reason why represent your three fingers as the three ribs here and hold it like this this is the diaphragmatic surface and this is the visceral surface so hold it on your left side a little bit above hold the duodenal loop like this in the flat of your palm and put it in front of your side will be a little bit below clear just like ma lakshmi how does she stands 